In this video, I will compare Beehive versus Substack versus ConvertKit and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and for your new newsletter. So if you are looking to create a newsletter or you just want to do email marketing to an audience and you're deciding between Beehive, Substack and ConvertKit, which are three very popular options, then this video will help you make the best decision in my opinion. So first, let's cover who they are for, starting with ConvertKit since it's the easiest. It is specifically created for creators. Now Substack and Beehive are also created for creators. Now besides ConvertKit, Substack and Beehive are also created for writers. So whereas here it says creators, it's basically just for writers. Although you can also use it if you have an audience on any social media platform to send newsletters. So a feature that all three of these tools offer is the ability to have paid newsletters so that people need to pay a monthly subscription in order to access your newsletter. Now with Beehive, there are some additional features. You can also create a website. Then of course you have the newsletter. They have a text editor. You can set up automation. So custom email journeys for your readers. You can use AI. They will help you grow your newsletter through a referral program for your newsletter. You can boost your newsletter. You can do cross promotions with other people on Beehive. You can have pop-ups and gating. You can set up subscribe forms and magic links. Now on top of that, you can of course monetize your newsletter and have an ad network that will basically have a bunch of advertisers that may want to advertise on your newsletter. And they can also make money by recommending other newsletters and you can set up paid subscriptions where people can have a monthly or yearly subscription to access and get your newsletter. So Beehive has everything you need if you want to launch a successful newsletter. Personally, I absolutely love Beehive. Substack, on the other hand, is good for some other people. So right here, I'm signed into my Substack account and Substack is also used as a reading platform. So it's not just for email newsletters. You can also use it to read about topics that you're interested in. And many people do this. For example, if you're interested in sports, then they can click on sports here. And here they can find a bunch of different newsletters that are about sports. However, mainly the top newsletters will get pushed. But you will see, for example, this one right here is $7 per month. And you can see it has over 137,000 subscribers. So obviously that is making a lot of money. So the great thing about Substack is that it will help you get discovered. Although Beehive also has features for that, which I just went over, which are the grow features right here. Then finally, ConvertKit. So in terms of features on ConvertKit, you can also create landing pages and forms. They have a creator network, recommendations, you can send emails and you can set up automations and then you can monetize with commerce, sponsor network, paid recommendations or a paid newsletter. Now, right away, I want to make a distinction. If you would like to sell physical or digital products through your newsletters, I would go with ConvertKit because they have the commerce option where you can go and sell your products. So if you want to sell products, go with ConvertKit, but you can also use these other tools to lead people to your website. But with ConvertKit, you can sell natively on the ConvertKit platform. Now, if you want to get started with any of these tools, you can get started with all of them completely for free through the links down in the description. Now, I would use Substack if you have no way of getting subscribers right now. So if you want to get discovered, then Substack can help you do that. Although I have found that it does take a very long time to build up an audience through Substack. And mainly the largest newsletters get pushed. Now, if you do publish quality content over time on Substack, you can definitely build up an audience. And with Substack, you can also create a paid newsletter. Now, for most people, I would personally go with Beehive. So Beehive also helps you get newsletters through boosts, through subscribe forms, recommendations, referral programs, and more. Now, I think Beehive is the best platform for newsletters. Now here there's a Reddit post from a person asking should I use Substack, ConvertKit or BI for a new newsletter and why? Now you can see that by far most people are going with Beehive and this is not in a Beehive subreddit, it's just our newsletters. And if you read these comments, you will see that pretty much everyone thinks Beehive is the best option and I agree with this. So this person says Substack takes a lot of money away and that's true, Substack takes about 10% of what you earn. And then on top of that, they also have credit card fees because it goes through Stripe of 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. 
So in total, it's about 13% per transaction and then also 30 cents. So if you are making quite a bit of money, then Substack is by far the most expensive option of these three. Now with ConvertKit, you can use it completely for free for up to 10,000 subscribers, which is really good, but you will still have the ConvertKit branding, but you can already run a paid newsletter and subscription. And if you want to sell digital products, that's also available in the free plan. So in terms of the free plans, I think this may just be the best one, but overall I think Beehive is the winner. And in terms of pricing, Beehive also has an amazing free plan, but if you want to have a paid newsletter, then you want to go and get the scale plan right here. Now let's say you have 5,000 subscribers or less, then it costs $63.20 per month or yearly only $55.20. So that's pretty good pricing. Now, they do offer a 30-day free trial, and of course, you can get started with their free plan. Now, if you want to claim the 30-day free trial, no credit card required, they can do that through my link down in the description. And for ConvertKit, you can also use the link in the description to get started for free or start a 14-day free trial. And of course, with Substack, you can also get started completely for free, but I wouldn't recommend Substack for most people. So to give you a really quick comparison, overall, I think Beehive is best, but if you want to sell digital products, then I would go with ConvertKit. And only if you are looking to get readers through the Substack app, which probably won't be a lot, but you can get some readers through here, then in that case, you should go with Substack. So that concludes this comparison of Beehive versus Substack versus ConvertKit. Now, again, if you want to get started with any of these, you can get started through the links down in the description for free. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.